Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. I'm here today with the Comica Track Shot microphone, and that is one unique microphone setup which is ideal for DSLRs, mirrorless, camcorders, video recorders, even as a standalone microphone, because this is actually two shotgun microphones in one. This is the box that it comes in. And it shows you the different kinds of mic setups. On this side, this is the mono setup. You can either have the microphones both facing forward or one forward and one in the rear so that you can have a bi-directional interview with your subject in front of you and you having your own microphone. Then there's the other side in which you have two different stereo positions. 30 degree angles from each other, and 90 degree in an XY position, which is ideal for things like concerts. And there's still all kinds of microphone positions you, you can set in this in between. So this is a DSLR camera with the Comica track shot already on there. It can go right onto the shoe mount of any DSLR or video cam or whatever you have. And not only that, it can go on to amazingly other choices as well. I'll bring that up in a couple of minutes. But basically, how many times have you had your DSLR camera, you want to interview somebody, but as always, the microphones are forward facing. So how do you get your voice in there? You don't have to worry about that. Look at this, check this out. I got a microphone here for the interviewee and for the interviewer, me. This is so cool. I can place these in any position that I want. And that's what makes this so unique. And it comes with just about everything you need and it comes with cables, two different cables. Uh, comes with an eighth inch, three and a half millimeter TRS and a TRRS cable. With that, you can interface this track shot with your cell phone or your smartphone, DSLR, mirrorless, video cam, camcorder. It's great for things like making audiobooks, doing vlogs, or just streaming live video perfect in many situations. So the way I have this set up right now is I have it right on top of my DSLR, but that's just one of many things to show you. And by the way, while I have this on here, it has a built-in shock mount. If you see these uh, orange things here, and it works really good. It really helps with handling noise. So if I'm moving this around, you're not gonna hear the movement. It's going to isolate that. So getting back to what it comes with, like I said, it comes with just about everything you need. It comes with all the cables you need. It comes with the USB charging cable, two different windscreens, and let me show you what those are. It's kind of like a, a dead cat, but, uh, there's two of these, and each one of these would slip right over each one of the mics. So it would wind up looking like that, but there's two of those. Now these mics are built such that there's built-in windscreens on them already, but when you have some really bad wind, that's where these would come in, and those would come in really handy. Also has this nice case, and the uh, user manual is inside there included with it. As well as the warranty card. It also has a built-in lithium-ion battery that you can charge with a USB cable. It's USB-C at this end, standard USB at the other end. They even include that cable too. Once this is charged, 
when you're having it on, it will last for up to 20 hours, which is really cool. So basically a full day. If you charge it the night before, you're good to go for the entire next day. So what these microphones are, is they are two super cardioid condenser mics with independent positioning, which is so cool. You can have either mic point anywhere, anywhere. This is so cool. And another really cool thing about this, there's a dual mount included with this. Now, you can see I have this on my DSLR. So obviously, it is mounted on here via cold shoe. So if I take this off, and it's really well built. It's, it's very light for what it is, and it's in a metal case. And that metal case really helps to avoid any kind of interference from RF. So again, besides the cold shoe mount, which we have that with, there's also a quarter inch dash 20 right underneath that. So you can put this on a, a boom stand or a microphone stand, or you can get a Zoom MA2 and screw that in here. And all of a sudden, you have something that can go on to just about any microphone clip. How cool is that? Or you can just hold it by yourself and, it's, and set the mic positions wherever you want. That is so cool. And the shock mount is built right into this. You can see these four orange things over here between the mount and the microphone. It's built in and it really does help from handling noise. Now I can handle this as rough as I want all day long and those mounts are going to isolate that handling noise from what the mic is actually picking up. And I found that to be super effective, really works out well. And that high pass filter or low pass really comes in handy for filtering out sounds like, oh, cars going by, air conditioning vents, fans, that kind of thing. So everything that you can think of that they might have put into a decent priced mic, it's already there. And there's a stepless gain control. By stepless meaning, you don't feel anything as it goes. So you can choose whatever number you want from 0 to 10 to increase or decrease the gain. It's very smooth. And you can tell that this is, they didn't skimp on the uh, actual gain knob. It feels high quality. It does not wobble or anything like that. The other unique thing is with this mic, basically, you put this cable in and the other end is the input to your cell phone or your DSLR or whatever you want to put this into. On the other end, there's also a jack and that's for headphones. You can monitor this real time. So as you are recording or listening to the mix, you can adjust this real time so you can get the perfect mix and there's no other better way to do that than to have headphones on and monitoring it real time. They really thought of everything with this. And the display is an IPS display, so it should work a lot better in high intensity sun than most of the other displays that are available to you in this sort of a microphone. Now there's also a USB-C jack over here and they give you a cable from USB-C to regular USB so that you can actually not only just charge it, but you can actually download firmware releases from the Comica website and update this as new releases are available. Speaking of which, I just updated this to version 1.2 and it's really weird because prior to version 1.2, when you had this in T mode or bi-directional mode, it was mono. So the speaker in the front and you behind, there was no distinction as to whether one is on the left 
speaker or one is on the right, they're both mono. With the 1.2 release, it's now bi-directional where mic one is on the left and mic two is on the right. So whoever the mic one is facing, they're gonna be on the left channel, mic two is gonna be on the right. Now, here's the thing. None of that is relevant if you know how to use that. If you wanna do bi-directional or interviews or that T position and you want it in mono, and you don't want that update to separate it into separate left-right channels, it's real easy. You go into this beginning configuration, mono, where both mics are facing forward, that's the mono position. It does not know what the physical positions of the mics are. So you can move these to anywhere you want, and it's gonna be in mono. So here we are again with the front microphone facing forward and the rear one facing rear or or mic one on the left and mic two on the right and it's going to be mono because you picked that so if you want mono or stereo you just pick that on the display and then you can move the mics to any position that you want that is so cool And because I have this Zoom MA2 attached here, I can take this and basically put this on any stand that can accommodate this, <laughs> which is really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a glass of ice and I'm gonna record what it sounds like to pour some soda in there. I'll be right back. All right, so I've got the mic hooked up. We're recording on that mic. And when we start recording on this, we're gonna cut this mic out so you only hear what, what the track shot sounds like. So we're having this forward. And I think what we're gonna do is this is mono right now. Let's put this in stereo and Stereo 1. I think that might be interesting. And let's see what that sounds like with this mic. Well, I don't know what that sounds like until I play it back, but I think it's going to sound really good. And I think that's one of the true tests of how a microphone sounds if it sounds good when you're pouring a glass of soda into a glass of ice cubes. You hear that so many times in the movies and it really sounds good. It actually makes you want a soda. Okay, so now I have this in S2 mode. So that is a 90 degree angle. So let me go ahead and just snap my fingers so that you, you can hear it go from left to right. And this is more for concert mode. Actually, let me put that in uh, S1 mode, which is a little tighter. Okay, and let's try that again from left to right. All right, testing, one, two, three, four. This is a test on the left side. And as we go to the middle and again on the right side. All right, so the quality is actually very good. And again, you don't need to use this strictly on cameras or anything. It can be just like the way I have it here. And this can be used for a lot of other th different things other than cameras. This can be feeding your jaw immediately as you are singing when the jaw is playing back other tracks. So th this is really nice. You can do so many different things with it. And this is just a very small 
sample of what this can do and a very small sample of what this sounds like. It really sounds fantastic compared to what your ordinary DSLR or your prosumer camcorder or video recorder sounds like. They really don't include the best mics. And this, at the time of this recording, is $179. I'm going to put some links in the description. So I hope this has helped you out. It really has helped me out. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.